How did the researchers create the plasticizer from Camille's fruit oil? First, the researchers prepared the materials needed to conduct the experiment. The materials are Camille's, aluminum tray, parchment paper, ethanol, vinegar, glycerin, cornstarch, and tap water. Next is the drying process. The researchers first washed the Camille's fruit using distilled water. After that, the Camille's was sliced into two to help dry it quickly. It was then sun-dried until it was hard to touch. The next process was the oiling process. Here, the researchers placed the dried Camille's into a container and covered it with ethanol. It was left for a week while slightly shaking it several times a day. After a week, it was drained into an aluminum tray and steamed to let the et ethanol evaporate. After the evaporation process, all that is left is the Camille's fruit oil. After the oiling process, the researchers started to make the bioplastic. There are five aluminum trays used for five different setups. The first three setups are the experimental group, which contain different amount of Camille's fruit oil as the plasticizer. The fourth setup is the control group with glycerin as the plasticizer. And the last setup was a random setup used for comparison with ethanol as the plasticizer. After that, in the heating process, the mixed ingredients will be steamed over the right flame. When it is noticed that is forming in liquid form, remove it from the heat and spread it on parchment paper. For the product testing, the bioplastic was tested for its elasticity, durability, and biodegradability. All setups were stretched to test the elasticity. In 1 ml, stretching the product wasn't a problem. The researchers do not encounter any struggle in stretching the product. It didn't expand much in 3 ml compared in 1 ml, but it stretched a bit. It didn't expand in 5 ml and started to break immediately. Moreover, the researchers find the product with glycerin to stretch easily. In ethanol, the product breaks instantly. For the durability test, the setups were folded to see if it will break or not. It doesn't break and returns to its original form within 1 ml. It gradually and gently transforms back into its original state in 3 ml. The stuff broke in 5 ml. It instantly and quickly transforms back into its original form in glycerin. The product breaks in ethanol. The biodegradability test were done by putting the setups under the soil and was left for 5 days. The before and after result. 